Hey guys, in a couple of videos, you may have seen an effect that looks like this. And, as we all know, that's a muzzle flash. I've gotten a couple requests from people on how to do this effect, and it's very quick, simple, and easy. Um, I will have all the links in the description, so you won't have to find anything on your own. And, um, so yeah, let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is Movie Maker. Once again, these are all free softwares, so you don't have to worry about purchasing anything. Once you download Movie Maker, you open it, and find wherever you saved your video of you, uh, shooting the gun. Now, I remember mine saved as video 223. Now, uh, you don't need to make any sound effects in this. All you need to do is flick your wrist like this. Um, and with a rifle or a shotgun, you just uh, pull it back some. So the first thing you need to do is find the point right before the gun gets flicked into the air. So uh, you just hit next frame until you get right close to it. I'm going to go back a couple and say right there is about the perfect frame. Then you hit M on your keyboard and it splits the video. Next, you want to don't move the cursor or click on anything because where the bar is is where exactly where you want it to be. Hit snapshot, call it whatever you'd like. and save it. Um, it's going to put it in in the back right here. You don't necessarily need it there. Uh, you just hit delete. Once that is done, you go to your search engine and type in muzzle flash. Again, I'll have this link in the description. Um, once you have this, you need to find one, and it's important that it's on a black background. It can't be checkered because I don't think it'll work but um, you need it to be on a black background. And this, in my opinion, is the best one. So you want to click on it with the right click and hit Copy Image. Once that is done, you're going to need this thing called Paint.net. Uh, once you get here, you go to Download, scroll down, and hit Download Now. Um, I think that you'll be able to download it. Don't download any other ads that come with it, but it's a pretty safe download. Once again, I'll have this link in the description. Once you have that downloaded, you need to open it. And once it's opened, it'll look something like this. You hit File, Open, and you find wherever you saved that snapshot of you flicking your wrist. Once again, um, this has to be paint.net in order to get the tools that you need. You can draw it in paint, but in my opinion that doesn't uh, look the best. So once you have this here, don't uh, draw a color on it or anything. Just go up to edit and paste into new layer. It has to be new layer, otherwise it won't work. Um, if this pops up, say, uh, keep canvas size. Now this is going to make it super huge, but that's okay. You can just size it down into the size that you need. Now, you don't necessarily want it super big uh, or super small, but I think that size is probably good. Next, you want to click on the magic wand here. And once you have that, you click in the black and hit delete. As you can see, all the black disappears and all you have is your nice muzzle flash. Now as you can see, it's not exactly where I want it, but that's easily fixed if you click on the blue cursor up here in the tools and you can move it around. And if it's too big or too small in your opinion, you can stretch it out still, but I'm just going to place it right there. Now I'm not sure if it's supposed to go like that, 
or like that. We'll keep it like that. Um, if you want to rotate it, you just right click and swirl around it. So once you have that done and positioned to where you'd like it, hit File, Save As, call it whatever you'd like. Uh, you should probably keep it the same as you did last time, just making it easier to find. But the most important thing that you need to do is you have to save it as a JPEG. If you don't save it as a JPEG, it won't be compatible with Movie Maker and it won't show up. So once you save it as a JPEG, um, hit OK and flatten. Once this is done, you can exit out of Paint.net and go back to Movie Maker. Now you still should have your uh, bar here where it needs to be, but if it is moved, that's okay. Just go into Add Videos and Photos, go to where you saved your muzzle flash, make sure it's the JPEG one, and say it plopped it in right there, that's okay. You can just click it and drag it in between the two videos. So once you play it, it's going to be pretty long, about seven seconds. To fix that, you want to make it really fast because it's a muzzle flash. Go into Video Tools, Edit, and on Duration, click on it and make it 0 0.03. The lowest it can go is 0 0.01, but that's usually too fast and Movie Maker can't usually uh, capture it. And it'll just look like a stutter. So once you have that, you click in here and you can hit play. And that looks uh, pretty good. Um, all we need now is sound. You can go to Sound Bible or any other place, wherever you get your music or sound effects. Once again, links in the description. Um, I got mine from iTunes. So you click on the picture of you with the muzzle flash. Go to Add Music. And you want to add it at current point. Once you do that, find wherever you saved that sound file. I'm going to use the uh, 357. I know that's a revolver, but it sounds really cool. Um, you just want to move it so where the sound is to the beginning of the video. I think it'll still work here, hopefully. And you'll see it's chopped up. That's because this video is only... 0 0.03 seconds long and it's uh, the sound quality is being split up it's magnifying itself to how long that is so uh, once you have that in there hit play that looks pretty good um, again you can adjust the, uh, the sound file to where it's placed because you may end up placing it right here and it still looks the same. Um, my battery's about to die, so I'm going to try to wrap this up quick. If it looks like it stutters for you, like there, like kind of looked like it jumped a bit, that should be fixed if you go into Save Movie. Now again, you want to have all of your other videos surrounding this. Um, sometimes if you plop in the... Uh, sound and you put another sound before it, it's going to mess up where that placement is. Just work backwards from the last time you need sound to the first time that you need sound and it should work. Um, if you're doing one with the gun face in the camera, it's the exact same thing. You just have to find a picture of a muzzle flash where it faces the camera and there's one right here. You do the exact same thing, and it works just the same. So, uh, there you have it. An easily made muzzle flash. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and if you have any comments, uh, just leave it in the description. Thanks. Bye.